Got it. Wait, what's that? Have to translate that. This looks just like the picture in the raid guide. There must be something special about this painting. What a strange place to keep a key. What did you do to Ned? Hi, Frank. I'm serious. You better hope his brain is under warranty because you have broken it. Oh no, is he really upset? I've never seen him this upset before. Joe's working overtime to cheer him up. I don't know exactly what's going on, but you might want to give him a call. Ugh, this connection is awful. Give me a call when you've got a better line. Let me know what you're up to. Joe and I will keep an eye on Ned. Thanks, see you later. Catch you later. It looks like I need to match the glass pattern, but I don't have all of the pieces. to translate that. This must be the room that Carl set up for me. This might come in handy. Nancy Drew, is it? I understand you and I have much in common. I'm not so sure. I don't believe we've met officially. Meet officially? What? With papers and a stamp? What is this? Meet officially? <laughs> Silliness. I am Renate. Officially. And you are Nancy. Officially. Is that official enough for you? Should I invite a third party to witness the exchange, maybe? No, that's all right. What did you mean when you said we have a lot in common? Uh, perhaps I'm wrong about that. You are here for the monster, yes? Yes. This, this is not a wise thing to do, especially not for you. What do you mean? Let me tell you what I know. You're here for the monster. Now I tell you something you don't know. This monster, he's here for you. What makes you so sure of that? <laughs> I'm a storyteller, Nancy. I deal in fate and tragedy. And when a young girl suddenly finds herself called to a monster's lair, it is always the first breath of a tragedy. I should know. Leave while you still can, Nancy. I'm not going to do that. I didn't think that you would. You are part of this story now. See you later. Goodbye. Did you need something else? Where are your favorite places to visit? The places with the best food. The people in the north are dull as mud through dirty spectacles, but they make a knockwurst and apple fritter that will take up residence in your soul. Oh, and in the Black Forest they make cakes, these chocolate cakes with cherries and cream. Oh, what I would give for one right now. There is nothing like having a full belly and taking a nap near a fire. That does sound nice. It is. Sweet food is my one true weakness in this world. It isn't great for the old teeth. It makes me fall fast asleep. But those are small prices to pay. Oh, all this talk has made me hungry. Thanks. See you later. Goodbye, Nancy. Thank you.
Guten Abend, Frau. Sprechen Sie Deutsch? Sprechen Sie... Oh, do I speak German? No, sorry. No, no. I am the one to apologize. Carl, the Burgermeister, is supposed to tell me a little bit about each guest, like the language you speak and where you're from. This way I can have everything prepared for your stay. But again, he has not done this correctly. I'm Anya, the Castellan. I'm in charge of guest services. I'm here to help you with anything you need during your stay. Nice to meet you. I'm Nancy Drew. Pleased to make your acquaintance, Miss Drew. You sure picked an interesting week to visit. You must have a... That's it. A strong heart. What do you mean? What? You don't know? Then it's nothing. It must be something or you wouldn't have said anything. The castle's worked up in a panic right now, so I have to warn you that your visit here may not be the world-class experience we aim to provide. But I will do my best to make sure that your visit is a happy and safe time for you. You've got some great stuff in here. Is any of it for sale? Of course. This shop is very popular with tourists. Most everything is for sale. You'll find the prices listed. See you later. Bye, Nancy. Huh? I wonder what this says. Maybe the pictures will help me figure out how to crack this code. just finished talking. What's with a glass display? Ah, oh, you noticed. Glass blowing tradition is very strong in the areas around Bavaria. We do quite a bit of glass blowing here ourselves. Normally we have demos, but it's been so hectic here the last few days we'd had to stop them for the moment. You make glass here in the castle? Oh, yes. I wish you could see it. Glass is everyday magic. Out of all this power and fire comes something delicate and strange. It's sad how easy it is to forget just how odd and beautiful a simple piece of glass can be. I guess so. It's one of the old things. Renata is always saying the old things are the best. Do you think she's right? Not really. I'm with you. Glass is nice, don't get me wrong, but I like it even better when it's part of a TV or a light bulb. I'd like to buy some souvenirs, but I'm low on money. Any idea how I could make more? People are always dropping coins around the castle. Oh, and Carl has been offering to pay for people's help on that silly game of his. Can I see the glass shop? Oh, sorry. It's locked until everything settles down. Only Carl and I have keys, but we're both too busy to supervise anyone down there at the moment. Sorry, Nancy. Auf Wiedersehen. Goodbye. Nancy, it's Marcus. Cell phone reception is notorious up there. Give me a call back on the landline in your room. Hi again. Anya mentioned a glass shop. Can you help me find a way in? She did, did she? Fine. You want to look in there? Go ahead, but stay away from the furnace. Why is that? It's a glass furnace. It's deadly. We've had accidents. It is not for fooling around. Be very careful. You could die down there. Thanks. Bye. Goodbye.